Let's talk about single responsibility principle in this section. This is my favorite um, principle in all the design principles. A little while ago, I had a survey and asked a lot of um, colleagues about what their uh, favorite pr design principles. I got some very interesting feedback. And uh, the top one principle is, not surprisingly, the single responsibility principle. So let's talk about this principle in this video. In this section, I will use the avatar component as an example to demonstrate what the uh, single responsibility principle is. And uh, if used well, how it can improve our code quality significantly. So um, I got a list of avatar here. So when you hover on uh, the avatar, it will be, it shows a two tip. Um, in HTML, it's pretty easy to implement this. It's just a title attribute to the uh, to the tag. Uh, however, this is HTML uh, built in two tip. So in the design system I have worked on, that two tip is much more uh, fancy. It's not a simple uh, title like this one. It will have um, you can define the position of the two tip to um, be more flexible and more powerful, like uh, you can you can customize the background color, you can define the position of the tooltip, like it could be either left or right or even top and bottom. Initially, the avatar component is implemented as something like this. So um, that's a tooltip component. You can customize the uh, position, for example, and also the style. And then it's a wrapper around the um, actual component is a cycle but we don't show the two tip all the time so when the props don't name uh, when you pass in a name to the avatar um, a two tip will be generated around the component otherwise it will be simply uh, render the circle of the um, avatar so after a little while we found that people are asking uh, more they wanted more options to customize the tooltip. For example, the, the position of the tooltip and the background color, uh, the font color. And soon we realized that it's not possible to make changes every time when they ask something. So we decided to have an object to um, accomplish these uh, changes. And whenever they want some props without touching any uh, part of the avatar, we will only pass we will only pass through these props into the tooltip component. But the problem of this approach is we copped our avatar uh, to the tooltip. Avatar has to know the position, the background color, the color, or even more uh, props like the phone family. Whenever tooltip updates that props in avatar, we have to make the change correspondingly. For example, if the two tip changed the position, the attribute position to something else like location, we have to update our avatar as well. So that makes the avatar depends on the two tip component, which is not necessary, especially when the name is not always um, passed in to the avatar. Instead of let avatar depends on the two tip, we decop them and let the avatar only responsible for doing the after stuff, which is render the image in a cycle compo in a cycle container or a rounded corner container or a square container. That means the avatar itself is simply a cycle or you know a rounded corner um, or a square container and the image is inside it. And if the user really want to tip, they can um, introduce the tooltip in that side and then wrap it around the avatar. But notice that the avatar itself doesn't have the tooltip anymore. It doesn't belong to, it doesn't depend on the tooltip. For regular users of the avatar, they just import the avatar from the package and then use it. And for advanced users who want to use the tooltip uh, with the avatar, they can uh, import the package by themselves and then they wrap it around the avatar. So the benefit here is that you can easily replace the tooltip package or update it or update the package without updating the avatar. 
So that's a single responsibility. The responsibility of avatar is rendering an image inside a container, either it's a cycle or rounded. Um, similarly, the responsibility of the two tip component is relatively easier. Uh, whenever you pass, you hover on the child element, there will be a message shows up and you can fully customize it, um, the style or other properties um, without touching Without on um, without need to understand what's the child actually about. Also, you can easily replace the two tip from uh, one to another. So, for example, I'm using two tip in uh, Material UI. It's a it's totally another package. Whenever you are writing some um, component, it it's very important to uh, look into what's the core responsibility of the component, and once you identify the responsibility. That is a prototype of component. Others, out anything in addition or extra will be extracted outside the component. That way, the component can be easily composed together. It's a very interesting thing. So you can only achieve more by doing less. Once you have that clear split, a good design will follow.